Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Johnson here. Welcome to our first grade ELA lesson for today. I'm going to show you what we're going to be working on today, and then we will dive in and get started. So let's see our agenda, shall we? Okay, so for today, we are going to do a warm up. Um, with our blending and segmenting, which we have done before. Then we, um, with our finger tapping, then we're going to go over some new tricky words. Then we're gonna do a review of punctuation. And then we're gonna do some practice and then we'll take a look at our checklist and we'll be done. So let's get started. So first we are going to do our blending and segmenting and I'm going to say the words with you. So let's start with this. We're gonna have three and it'll be at, at, fat. Okay, and here's another one. Er, uh, er, uh, rough. Very good. Okay, let's try this one. Er, at rat. Let's try this next one. O egg. O egg. Leg. All right, we're going to need four fingers for this one. K o in. K o in. Clean. Okay, we're still going to need four. Let's try this one. Er, aim, er, aim, frame, like a picture frame. All right, here's our next one. Sp, Ike, sp, Ike, spike. Very good. And here's our last one. Ch, owled, ch, owled. I did that one wrong, I'm so sorry. Child, child. Very good, that last one was a little tricky, but with some practice, you guys will get it, okay? All right, now we're going to do tricky words. So our tricky word, we're going to do, let's see, can you see this board? Okay, so our first tricky word, this one, Okay, our first tricky word is this. Okay, so you might say this word as w, e, er, e, right? But it's pronounced where like this. Eh. Er. Where? Like, where did you get that soda? So, the W and H sound how you would, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, they don't sound as you would expect, because this is the tricky part of the word. It is pronounced w, w. Instead of wh, it's the sound w, where. And the letters e, r, and e, the last part, are another tricky part of the word, because they would, <laughs> you would expect these letters to be pronounced E R E, but they're pronounced er, where, air. Okay, so we have to remember that when we're reading the word where, we have to pronounce the letters W H as w, w, and the E R E as air, where. Okay, and then when you're writing where, we have to remember to spell the w, w sound as 
WH, right? And our air as ERE. -E. All right, that one's super tricky. I had a hard time telling you guys about it, so I can only imagine that it's hard to understand. But we'll come back to it again and again, and you'll get it with practice, okay? So here's our next word. Okay. How would you pronounce this by blending? You'd probably say w at w at wat. But that's not how this is at all. So this word is actually pronounced w at what? As in, what did you say? Or what did I just learn? So what is spelled W-H-A-T, -W but it's pronounced W-U-T. So the letters W and H are the tricky part of the word, just as they were in where. Because the W-H only has the W sound, right? And the letter A in here is another tricky part of the word. You'd probably expect this letter to be pronounced ah, 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 but it's actually pronounced uh, right? So the, the T is pronounced exactly how you'd expect it to, t -t 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 -t, right? Okay, so when we're reading what, we have to remember to pronounce the letters W H as w w and the letter A as a uh, a uh. so it would be what but when we're writing what we have to remember to spell the w w sound as w h and the a uh, a uh sound as a all right now let's go on to our next tricky word So before we get started, remember we have talked about what this sound means with CH, okay? So now I want you to try it and sound it out yourself. I'll give you a minute. So this is actually pronounced which, as in which jacket is yours or which colored pencil should I use? So which is actually sounds like W, I, C, H, okay? So when we say wit, when you see which spelled like this, it's actually pronounced w itch, which. So that W, H sound, or the W sound is spelled W-H, and our I is exactly the same, and our last C-H is pronounced ch, ch okay? So when reading which, we have to remember to pronounce the letters W-H as w, w and when we're writing which, we have to remember to spell the w, w sound as W H. Okay. Now we are going to move on and we're actually going to be coming back to these later. So keep these in mind. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do a review of what punctuation is. So let me erase this real quick. Real quick, what is punctuation? That's right, it is um, a symbol in our sentences. So one of our punctuation marks is a question mark. 
So student or sentences that start with WH, right? WH are often questions. So today's tricky words were all question words. These words are used to ask questions and the question words ask for different things, but they all help um, to find out more information. So when we ask a question, our voice goes up in pitch. You can hear it in the voice when someone is asking a question. So listen to your voice as you are saying the following questions. Where did you go? Why do you like ice cream? What is the color of your eyes? In speech, you can easily hear that someone is asking a question or is just making a statement. In writing, the reader needs to see a punctuation mark to understand that. So remember in the snapshots, we have um, the books we've read on the computer, they have seen, or you have seen periods, which are full stops. So a period ends a sentence flat out. You've also seen exclamation points at the end of sentences. So that is like you're exclaiming, you're excited about something. That's when you put an exclamation point. So questions are sentences as well, and they are indicated in writing with a special punctuation mark called a question mark. Can you hear the word question in the phrase question mark? <laughs> Yes. So you have just, I have just asked you a question and you've just answered it. So that is an excellent example of what a question mark is. Because I asked, can you hear the word question in the phrase question mark? I would put a question mark at the end of that and you've answered it. So that's a question. So I'm going to write some sentences on the board. And I want you to um, answer, okay? Let's do this. So we're going to identify which part of the sentence is a question and which is um, the question mark, okay? You can write these down at home too if you have a pencil or paper, all right? So, where did, where did Nat and Dot go? Where did Nat and Dot go? So remember, this is from our snapshot story. Where did Nat and Dot go? Oh, I'm sorry, I did the wrong thing. Where did Nat and Dot get Bud? I'm sorry, that was probably confusing. Get Bud. Where did Nat? and dog get bud. Okay. Very good. They got bud from the vet. So which part of this sentence do you think is the question and which is the answer? Is the question in black? or is the question in red? That's right, the question's in black. Why is that the question? How do you know? That's right, because it has a WH word, where, and it has a question mark at the end of it. Very good. Okay, here's the next one. Oh, that doesn't erase. All 
All right, I'm gonna write this up here since it is not erasing. Okay, let me see real quick if you can see me still. I'm gonna write it up here, okay? All right. What did the vet fix on Bud? Okay, so which part of this sentence do you think is the question and which is the answer? What did the vet fix on Bud? The vet fixed Bud's leg. Which one? Very good. This top one in black is the question because that's right. It started with a WH word, what, and it had a question mark. And then the answer is in red, and it ended with a period. Very good. Okay, take a minute and think about our review of our punctuation. And we will be back in just a minute. You can take a little break, and we'll come right back. Okay, hopefully you've had a little bit of a break and we can move on to our next part. So we are going to talk about um, our WH words and how we use them in some sentences. So I am going to write some on the board and then we're going to talk about sentences and you're going to tell me which word goes with which sentence, okay? So I'm first gonna write the word who. So here is my line, and we're gonna write the word who. What does who mean? Who is describing a person or um, a dog or a cat? So you're gonna say, who is this talking to me? Okay, now we have our next word, which is one of our tricky words, where. Where did you go for summer vacation? Where is the mall? Okay, here's our next one. When? When did you go to the grocery store? Or when will mom be home? Okay, and here's the next one. Why? Why do we have to go to the grocery store? Or why can't I have candy for dinner? And here's another one. Which? Which color looks best, pink or blue? Which clothing should I wear tomorrow for school? I need one more color, okay. And finally, what? What do you mean I can't have candy for dinner? What in the world is that? <laughs> There's all kinds of phrases you can use the word what for, okay? So now, I'm going to say a sentence and I want you to tell me which of these would go in that sentence. OK, 
Okay, so the sentence is can sing the best. Can sing the best. I'll write it. Can sing the best. Would when can sing the best? Which can sing the best? Why can sing the best? Where can sing the best? Or who can sing the best? Who, that's right. Who can sing the best? All right, here's the next one. Did the van crash? Blank, did the van crash? Is it, why did the van crash? That could be it. Which did the van crash? No. What did the van crash? No. Where did the van crash? Yes. Where did the van crash? We've got to use our question mark. Very good. All right. Blank did the bell ring. Blank did the bell ring. Is it what did the bell ring? Which did the bell ring? Why did the bell ring? Or when did the bell ring? That's it. When did the bell ring? When did the bell ring? Question mark. Okay, here's our next one. Blank is the sun hot. Where is the sun hot? Which is the sun hot? What is the sun hot? Or why is the sun hot? That's right. Why? Why is the sun hot? Question mark. Very good, okay. Two more. Let's see. I'll do blue. Blank dress is black. What dress is black? Or which dress is black? Which dress is black? So when you'd be holding it up saying, which dress is black? Which dress is black? Question mark. Okay, and now our last one is, is in the bag. What's up, which one haven't we used yet? Very good, what? What is in the bag? What is in the bag? Question mark. Very good, so we have what, which, why, when, where, and who. Very good, you guys did really well with that. I'm impressed. Okay, now I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see if we have finished our work for the day. Let's take a look. Did we do our blending and segmenting today? Yes, we did. Did we do our tricky words? We did, and what were some of the tricky words we had? What was, very good. And we did our review of punctuation, which 
we did our question mark and our period. Very good. And did we do some practice with our questions? We did. So we have completed all of our lesson for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you again soon. Bye friends, see you next time.